this is a very interesting disconnect uh, to have between the president and his new national security advisor. Let's play for you first what the president said at that speech to CPAC, that conservative gathering near Washington yesterday. So let me state this as clearly as I can. We are going to keep radical Islamic terrorists the hell out of our country. So you heard the president use the phrase radical Islamic terrorist. This is a phrase we heard often from him on the campaign trail. We also heard it from him at that campaign rally uh, last week in Florida. Here is what Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster said to an all hands gathering of National Security Council staff on Thursday. He said jihadi terrorists aren't true to their religion and that, and that use of the term radical Islamic terrorism isn't helpful for U.S. goals of working with allies to defeat terrorist groups. Uh, among those allies, of course, would be uh, other Muslim-majority countries. This is an argument we heard often from people other than President Trump and his former national security advisor, Mike Flynn. So this is a very different tone, uh, this argument that it's just not necessary or helpful to use that phrase. And I, I should tell you that this is not something that's new uh, from Lieutenant General McMaster. He has been saying this for some time. In a speech in November, he talked about uh, jihadists cynically using a perverted interpretation of religion to incite hatred and justify horrific cruelty against innocents. In May of last year, he also uh, talked about people uh, people, groups like ISIS using what he called an irreligious ideology.